come check this out. Yeah. All I know is paper, baby. You know what I'm about. Hey. I've been ballin' crazy lately, that's without a doubt. Yeah. Major labels calling, got them watching like a scout. Yeah. Tell them I need 10 mil or more and no cap. Yeah. If they wanna do it, we can do it right now. Yeah. Diamonds in my mouth, it let you know I'm from the south. Yeah, this young nigga lit is very hard to put me out. Yeah, I really know some niggas that will take you off the map. Yeah, I be iced out. Every time you see me rocking jewelry, bout a pound. Yeah. Water, 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 hold up, baby, don't drown. Yeah. I be wildin' out, I got a cannon on me now. You know what I'm about, yeah, I've been about it since a child. Uh, ballin' all the time, hatin' niggas talking foul. Yeah, cause I got that iron and he ain't the one to try. Nah, unless you wanna die, nigga, and it's not a lie. Yeah, I hop out every time with that fat right on my side. Yeah, run up, surprise, nigga, you just met the nine. Yeah, bitch, I hold it down, cause I'm real humble and violent. Yeah, money keep on piling, money keep on piling. Hey, come check this out, yeah. All I know is paper, baby, you know what I'm about. Hey, I been Ballin' crazy lady, that's without a doubt yeah. Major labels calling, got them watching like a scout yeah. Tell them I need 10 mil or more and no cap yeah. If they wanna do it, we can do it right now yeah. Welcome back to another video And we are headed up to Illinois somewhere Because Gabe is actually in town Back to where his hometown is And he called me and said to come check out his new purchase All I know is that it is a car and it has a two-step that sounds like gunshots. So we are currently in the giveaway truck, the monster truck, the one and only little baby truck, headed all the way out with like a four-hour mission to Gabe's hometown, and we're gonna check out his new car. So let's get into the video, let's go check that thing out. A wild Gabe. In a national habitat at the gas station. I keep talking about how my car is a piece of garbage, and every time I make it shoot flames, it use like, like a quarter tank. But it's a Lambo, so it's okay. It's not a Lamborghini. It's a Audi Aventador. Audi Aventador? Yeah. RS Aventador. He's on the same thing as the It's a Subaru Altima R8. Facts. Yep. Lamborghini, Lamborghini. Lamborghini. These are Lamborghinis. You can tell about the F. Lambo, Lambo, Lambo. Q5. Q5, yours. Q5, yours. Blue truck. Bugatti. That's a Bugatti. Bugatti? Yep. Rolls Ram? It's a, uh, uh, what's the, Pagani? Pagani, no. Kona Seg. That's my Kona Seg, a Gera 24 valve. Yep, I like that one. With a 10 speed? No, it's a 16 speed. 16 speed. Yeah. That's what this has. Yeah. Why have you not revealed this car? Well, I've been having too much fun driving it. I... You should probably reveal it. Because yeah. I'll post this tomorrow, they're like, wait, what the fuck? My corn hug popping. How many turbos does it have though? One, two, three. Three turbos. Yep, this is actually a turbo. Yes. This is a, it's not a wing. I don't know, who told, who told you it was a wing? It looks like something out of Need for Speed, like when you start up your Xbox in the morning, to play, I play Need for Speed, or oh, your worried. PlayStation, you see the back <laughs> of this. I will see you in like... The key's leather, so you know I'm fucking rich. I was gonna say, I'd see you in like four days. No, eight. No? 20, yeah, eight days. 27 days. 27 days. Hours. Why is it so quiet? It's got twin turbos. It's bumpy. Oh, tires, a massive drop pitch to tow whatever you want, a full powder coat of suspension including the frame and a whole lot more. All you gotta do is click the link above or the description below to get entered. Maybe I'll be giving you a call on November 25th telling you to pick up your new truck.
All right, so fifth gens are freaking garbage. If you come back here and look, the spare tire of my truck decided to break its way out of it. And I uh, came a little bit too fast over the train tracks. I don't know what happened back there, but the tire just landed on the ground. I looked in my mirror and I was like, is that my tire? And yes, it was. So this thing needs to go because I absolutely hate it. It lasted all of maybe two weeks with me and I don't want it anymore. So Look at this. The battery voltage is okay, but the coolant temperature is hot. The coolant lights on. Engine temperature hot? Are you kidding me? I say we let it cool down for a little bit and we restart. She's fucking hot. How can this truck even possibly get this hot? Something's burning. Okay, so if you come over here. How can this truck even get this hot? I mean, it's literally brand new. Why would it overheat? That's actually garbage. The car is out of the cat. Yeah. The power steering got like extra hot. If you look right here, it's covered in power steering fluid now. I don't think I've ever had a truck with this premium engine thing. So we're gonna let it cool down, then we're gonna take it down the uh, the old beaten path. Let's go for a walk. We gotta make a little pit stop because the truck is completely out of gas and we go off into the jungle. That's not a place you wanna be with no fuel inside your truck. Why is it so expensive these days? Three and a half gallons for $10? Come on. And just like that, we put $19.94 in the car. I gave her $24. I said I put the rest in cash. That means that Red Bull was $4.06. And I drink like seven of them a day. Well, here's the first test right here. We are getting this thing. Okay. Made it through the first obstacle. I don't think I've ever went off road with a stock height vehicle, let alone a 2024 Dodge Ram. So, let's see how this goes. That sounds good. four works actually pretty freaking decent if you ask me I'll be impressed if this truck actually makes it in and out of here in one piece and not stuck so we're putting that to the test today Nah. Dude, I'm not getting back up this fucking hill. We're sliding. Yeah, we just fucked ourselves. Oh my god, we just slid down this whole entire hill. Oh, yeah, right. Let, let's, let's go down here. We're fucking 
fucking stuck already. We're actually fucking stupid. We need another truck or a machine? I think another truck would do it. She should come clean, but there's a big there's a big stick right here. That's the problem I think we're facing here. So we need to get out of this predicament now. And that's not gonna be easy the more I look at this. That was not a good idea coming down here. This is a now we gotta figure out how to get this truck out of the freaking predicament that it's in. The rescue truck is here, and he actually stopped and picked up my 12,000 pound winch that I got from Rough Country for the gooseneck, but I don't think that's gonna be making it on the gooseneck quite yet because I'm gonna to attempt to pull it out with the truck and if the truck doesn't work, I'm going to try to chain the winch to a tree and that should definitely help us out a lot, I would say. So let's get back there and let's see how easily this truck's gonna come out of the hole in the situation that it is in. So we've got the chain hooked up to the fifth gen Ran about a third of the way up the hill. Now we're gonna grab a strap. And the first task we're gonna do is try to get it out of this little hole that it's in because it, it just spins. And I've been trying to get it out and instead of it coming out, it wants to have the water run through my wheel. Let's see how this goes. Come on, we're like right here. We might not need the winch. I would like to save it for my trailer, but. Come on, one more pull. There we are. There we have it. Oh my God. Oh my God, the Duramax that could. Holy shit. How did that pull it out? I'm actually like mind boggled right now. The fifth gen is out of the creek that it was in and she is a little dirty. And I think the $20 I put in fuel is definitely already out of it, but we got it out of the creek. Holy shit. That was definitely, definitely the adventure. And now it's high idling. Amazing. Any damage? No damage down there. No damage to the sides. No damage to the backside. No chain snapped in the process, so that's definitely a plus. And we put some fuel inside this truck and we go wash it. But the brand new winch did not have to come out today because the old Duramax did the job and got the fifth gen right out of the mud. Baby, I'm a dog when I smile, it's a ground. Yeah, round, round town in the foreign with some rounds. Uh, presidential style, they call me Mr. Glock now. Hey, come check this out. Yo, all I know is paper, baby, you know what I'm about. I've been ballin' crazy lately, that's without a doubt yeah. Major labels calling, got them watching like a scout yeah. Tell them I need 10 mil or more and no cap yeah. If they wanna do it, we can do it right now yeah. Diamonds in my mouth, they let you know I'm from the south yeah. This young nigga lit, is very hard to put me out Yeah, I really know some niggas that will take you off the map uh.